everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, you probably recognize the paints again and her job and maybe getting tired of it by now, but <laughs> we're done. So, yeah, I just want to have a quick look at it. Got uh, traffic all held up here because this is that UPS site in Steamboat Springs. I almost dove into it here the other day when we were supposed to be going to the other side there. There's another uh, company over there. But anyway, yeah, this is done. So it's up on Steam. Yeah, we've got the did the uh, Dom's treatment to it. In fact, I did a little more than I did on Dom's here, with the uh, you know the uh, the metal flake stripes on the outside of the fender lips with uh, some shadow under them. Kind of was tricky, and same on the trailer. If you remember that trailer skin, so I decided I'd better make the uh, this truck skin match that trailer skin. So and that stripe is on the custom fenders too we got the uh, headache rack is now painted and it's a separate template the truck is done as an advanced skin the bumper and rear fenders are all painted too separately on an advanced skin so and I was mentioning how that stripe on the front and rear of the toolbox slash step don't line up and I just decided to go for it anyway you know, on darker paint jobs and everything, that's in a shadow. You can't see it. And I decided, yeah, I'll go for it. So anyway, where we are is, once again, Steamboat Springs. And we're heading on a kind of cool. We're heading out of town here. And up through bags and past that. Uh, this is that site that Recon said was in forever. And I thought it was a big deal when I delivered some oil there or whatever. <laughs> or uh, I think it was a tanker load going in there. Anyway, we're going to head on through Rollins back down to Cheyenne. So kind of a cool trip. It's only 315 miles, so we should get it done in lots of time. Or well within the time limit, I guess I should say. We don't want to take lots of time. So we better get going here. So, uh, cargo's 33,000. I didn't think we'd get too big a cargo with this trailer. So I uh, toned it down to a four and a quarter. 3406. Very appropriate for the back in the day. That was the big one. So I got the reefer sound effects turned on, I hope. And it's a frozen load. Oh, gee, we got that clutch pedal noise going. stutter right there. Oops, we set our Toby here. Oh, I like just turn green. It's more often than not, I gotta stop at this light, so that's cool. So I'm running, uh, I put the PNG back in for this run in this profile, and just wanna compare, you know. So it's morning, it's 7 in the morning, so the sun's a little low.
See this old truck still in the ditch up here on the right. There it is right there. up here. Oh. I got the so interior sounds at 30 right. and it's still too loud. here and have a look at this prairie. Oh, not a way station. Get ready. Yeah, she. I don't know, sixty nine thousand pounds. Well, maybe seventy. find that gear. Or that one. <laughs> that was pathetic. <clears throat> 71. Oh, fairly close. Still heavier than I guessed, which is on the wrong side of guessing. just gone past noon on the clock there but it'll cool down once we get going down here Jeez. 
Jeez. All that accelerating up that hill just to slow down for this town. That's the, that's the thing with the, you know, 19 to 1 map scale. Things come at you fast and furious. Ooh, doggy. Get the photo right along here. Give it a go. What's going on over there? Cut kicking up all that dust. To check our frame rates here, see what we're getting. So, averaging around 115 outside. a little over 100 inside. Well, that's pretty good. I see a long climb because, yeah, we're not able to get into 18th yet. coming out of that right away here. Why don't you get a look at the uh, the cabin motion? better sequence of downshifts. Yikes. Slowed up a little bit right there with that hill. new container pack. Uh, I like those uh, loads with the open cargo from our, our nook. Nice detail on them.
Yeah, gears might be just a little bit too... Oh, that's a big stutter. Frame rates through there, where it stuttered there, were pretty low. They were down to like 60. And then it stuttered like crazy. Um, yeah, the gears are a little, little bit too tall for this uh, four and a quarter. We'll get 18th gear right here. Let's see if we can get a... To make use of it and get up to the highway speed here. This guy pulled in on us. He wasn't quite going over. There we go. We hit highway speed 75. Let's see what's going to happen here. We're going to be able to get a run on that guy or not. We're heading all the way into Cheyenne, so pretty sure we stay on this road all the way. in the cruise there on 77. Oh shoot, you know what? Let's I'm not running the real physics mod in here. We gotta go to options gameplay. Where's the cabin suspension? Oh Truck stability, 66 trailer. Okay, I've got it down a bit. We're gonna uneven surface. Let's turn that up a bit. Make uh, the old girl rock around a little bit. Try that. I wanna see some of this cab motion while we're on the highway. Oh yeah, and I purposely didn't choose a hood ornament this time. Just for nostalgia's sake, with this truck, and you know, when I first got this truck, he didn't have the optional hood ornaments, he just had the default one like we see here. So I thought I'd put it, put it on, because I usually have either the swan or the convoy duck. Okay, here, let's jump out here and see what we can see in the cab. Oops. Kind of far away. This bridge is gonna mess it all up. What about this view? No, I can't tell anything there. Oh, you can see the shadow. Oh. See the shadowing, sort of, on the pinstripe around the fender. And the pinstripes are metal, metal flake. Come on, baby, hold that 75. Oh. Yeah, she's working. Yeah, look at the parameter. Oops. It's up around a uh, thousand degrees. So, hey, if you notice, if you had a, like a six and a quarter or 700 in here, it wouldn't be working nearly as hard going up there. That little wee grade and the parameter wouldn't, uh, parameter wouldn't be where it is now. Cause you're not making, like the engine has the power. So you don't got your foot in it as hard. I think that's something people don't really realize. Like a smaller engine to do the same job, you gotta run it harder. And uh, it'll get hot. It's the same with cars. Take the same engine, make one run real good. Might run, you know, it's capable of using a lot more fuel, but it doesn't need to. And uh, it'll roll down the highway a lot easier, that's for sure.
I, you know, my old caddy, I got that engine pretty hopped up. <laughs> Way over what it ever produced stock. And you roll them down the highway and you hit a little incline or whatever. It takes just like a, just a minuscule little teeny weeny push on the throttle to hold speed up that hill. Whereas when it was stock, you'd be sticking your foot in the throttle. It's a huge difference having an engine that's tuned up. Man, get out here for this sequence through here. driving this less powerful engine though. Pretty steady. Not not bumpy enough road. I have to go down that road into King Ranch again soon from the homestead. Oh baby, all over the road. About well, 17 miles to go, and we didn't get the hurry up, so. We're in good shape. Just open uh, container. I've ever delivered here before. I've always picked up here. Uh, we'll see. And this is curious, this gate thing here. Well, I have the... I guess, you know, you're on your honor system. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Bill. Didn't have time to stop. on the tranny right in the back oh, this is oh well, we got the trailer dollies forward we should be all right look at the tires on those uh parked vehicles there <laughs> no wonder they're parked can't tow them anywhere Uh, let's 
us here. We're gonna we're gonna have to Oh boy. Gonna give this a go just for giggles. Aim the truck into here. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, we better back up. So come up with a different plan. So we get to our far ways on, we're gonna be doing this for a little while here. that much power. That's a tight spot they got us going into back there. I'd never be able to do this from inside the truck. Well, I mean, I can't, but it'd take forever. In the game, that is. Gonna let us get up to the bumpers? Nope. I hate that. <laughs> Need a drawbridge to get to the trailer with their forklift, but sometimes they do. Most loading docks have the flap that comes up. Anyway, I think we're here. Three hundred fifty miles. Wow, that's exactly as advertised. Cool. Even with wheeling into the scale, <laughs> guess that didn't add anything. But uh, yeah, so that skin is up on Steam, and uh, like I said, gave it the full treatment, like I did the DOMS, uh, and plus the uh, the um, striping on the outside of the front fenders. Uh, I don't even think I have it on the rear fenders on DOMS. Hmm. Maybe mistaken, I'd have to check. I don't think so. But, um, yeah. Good truck. Now, on the 389 version, long nose, the th you know, the proper 389, 
there's a problem with the upper stripe where it goes where you know about a third of the way into the hood it starts to slope upward and I don't know why that is you see this is dead straight and this is a 378 of course but yeah I don't know what's going on there didn't used to do that on the old template didn't do it on the old version of the skin and if we can't fix it I'm gonna have to pull that skin out of this pack here and then maybe the old one I can go back to that and just have it as a standalone skin I don't know I'll look into it see what's going on but um, as always guys I uh, really appreciate you following along and as always take care and bye for now